Hello sir, thank you for welcoming us into your home. Could you please state your name and tell us a bit of, a bit about yourself? Uh, yeah, I'm Chief Brahman. Uh, I used to be a patient at, at, the, mental, at the mental institution. I was there for many years and uh, it changed me for sure. Okay, thank you. Can you please tell us a bit about the hospital? Um, well, it depends. Do you want the real story or what they try to tell you? Welcome to this wonderful institution. Here, we strive to help people with mental disabilities learn to cope with their personal situations. Our dream is to eventually reintegrate all people with mental disabilities happily into society. Well, what did you truly think the hospital was like? It was mostly nice, uh, calm, quiet, but there was a lot of conflict between the patients and nurses, especially this one guy, uh, a man by the name of Randall McMurphy. Alright, was this McMurphy character your friend? Not at first. I still remember when he first showed up to the hospital. He was quite the character. Welcome to this institution over here. This is your home for a while. Whose dogs are these? What dogs? Are you crazy? Oh my god. <laughs> this place looks kind of bland. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Stop! <laughs> the name is McMurphy, bud. Pleasure to meet you. No? Alright. Wow, he sounds like quite the handful. Do you have any stories of any memorable memorable moments you had with this man? Oh yeah, this, this one time. We have no idea why, but uh, he decided to not put clothes on after he showered and just run around. It was hilarious. One foot is, one foot was. McMurphy, what are you doing? Nurse present! Somebody go help! Get the shirt on right now! McMurphy's shirt, let's go! No, what do you think you're doing? What do you need? One foot is, one foot was. We need to get a shirt on right now! Okay, now that we know a bit about the patients themselves, how did the nurses treat you guys as both humans and patients? Honestly, more as patients. Uh, they, they treat us like we are below them. And especially if uh, some of us treated one negatively, they would latch on and sometimes it got pretty ugly. So, everyone, today in group therapy, we're going to be talking about Billy's condition. How is your anxiety doing? But, but, my what? Well, uh, I think uh, Billy has uh, problems interacting with other pe people. Th that's not true! But Billy smells in the shower. Billy, you didn't shower? That is awful. What would your mother think of that? This is terrible hygiene. Thank you for telling me about Billy. Do you want to sleep in an extra 20 minutes tomorrow morning? Yeah, yes. Okay, that's great. Let me, Mom? Yeah, well, Billy also wasn't being nice to the other patients. Uh, I, I saw him I saw him being mean to them. That's not true! She just sh sh shut up! I think we're making a lot of good progress here today. Did you ever feel in danger in the hospital? Yeah, uh, there were times that for just no reason the nurses would endanger us because we weren't perfectly in line. This one time, it got so bad the patient was like severely hurt. Okay, that time, line up. 
Okay, here's one for you. Put in your mouth, swallow, tug up, tug down. Okay, you're good. Next. Okay, here's yours. Swallow, open mouth, tug up, tug down. Okay, you're good. Next. Okay, here's two for you, Mr. Tabor. Put in your mouth. What's this? It's your medicine. Put in your mouth now. What's in it? It's none of your business what's in it. I'm the doctor. I know what's right. Put it in your mouth right but, now. But I was just asking what it was. I was no, just asking no. what it... I just wanted to know... I'm the nurse. It. Stop. Ah. Ah. Did you guys do anything about it? Um, not at first, but when McMurphy showed up, he tried to make changes to how things worked. He would, uh, he would bring the patients together to vote or agree on something that would eventually uh, convince the nurses to let us do other stuff. Yeah. Do you have a seven? What'd you say? Do you have a seven? An eight? Do you have a seven? That's it. This music is <laughs> way too loud. I think we need a separate game room because I just can't even focus on my own thoughts. This game room is fine. Just deal with this. No, we have to have a new one. I just can't focus. New game room. New game room! New game room. Yeah, everyone wants a new game room. Fine, if everyone wants it, I guess I'm not numbered. Yeah! Yeah, Woo! new game room! Yeah! Game room! Uh, well, this seems like uh, it always turned out well for you guys. Like, it always worked. Not always. Uh, most of the time, we couldn't get together and convince the nurses that what we wanted was the right thing to do. You know, guys, I just had a great idea. I think that we should totally watch the World Series. Come on, guys, it's the World Series, it's a big deal. We should totally watch it. What's going on over here? I think that everyone wants to watch the World Series. Well, it's out of schedule. Come on, guys, we want to watch the World Series, right? We don't want to change. Yeah, and it's almost, it's almost bedtime. Okay, how about this? I'll let you watch it if you get a majority of people who want to watch it. All right, guys, come on. Let's all vote for it. Yeah, let's go. World Series. It doesn't fit the schedule. No change. Cool. So I guess you're not going to watch it. Okay, guys, come on. It's that time. Well, Mr. Bronlin, do you still keep in touch with Mr. McMurphy? The only way to find out is to get my book, One Floor of the Cuckoo's Nest. Coming next fall to a bookstore near you.